again to Wise Cash. Hi Ace. Hello Floyd. How are you? I am, I am feeling amazing. How's your week? My week has been wonderful, fabulous, How wonderful? fantastic. It's all sorts of fun. Oh, okay. oh, how, how's, your, how's your week? It's fun. <laughs> what happened last week? We went to some um, financial literacy seminars. Mm -hmm. In fact, we went with the uh, we went to FEU with mm -hmm. the IABF students. Uh, uh, we had a seminar there. Actually, actually meron tayong uh, shout out from them. Meron silang yes. pa hello sa atin. Yes, may video F tayo for FEU? ano from uh, from I FEU yeah. Far Eastern University. Can we can we ano show to to the viewers? Palang. Yes, I'm very happy Loste. that a lot of students are supporting Wise Cash yes. and we are getting there in our advocacy of yeah. financial education. We're making sure that the future of our next generation will be financially educated enough to control uh, to, to take over the country to, for us to have a better future. Yan. Yan yes. mission natin with TGFI, right? Also, I'd yeah. like to say hi to everyone in Excelitas Technologies in Laguna. They are sabi nila very very active though sila sa panonood ng show natin. Hi. Okay. Hello. Hi. hi to all the viewers watching from all over the world, from South Korea, from Singapore, from Dubai, from, from Ethiopia, Saudi, Argentina, Ethiopia, Africa, Brazil. Antarctica. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Dami Hello. nating followers. Yes, and thank you for supporting Wise Cash. We're now on the sixth episode. We are of halfway the show. through the season at marami yes. na talaga tayong mga natututunan, I'm sure, no? Just like um actually is yung episode natin for today something very special. Mm -hmm. Why is it special? Because we're going to talk about debt. Debt. Yan, maraming mga tao ayaw na ayaw nakakarinig ng debts. The utang, the bad debt. And of course, we're also going to talk about emergency funds. Yes. Yeah. Ano, ano importance ng emergency fund? And then yung connection ng dalawa, debts and emergency fund. If we go back to the previous episodes, we can see the ladder of investing na sino suggest yeah. natin, di ba? So now we are in the third and fourth ladder na. Wow. We're malapit going to na, the malapit na. Ito na yung ano, nandoon at malapit tayo sa cream of the crop. Yes, the <laughs> investing topics of uh, wise cash show pero for now we will focus on the foundation kaya nga nat nandito tayo we already have the six episode for today it's because we want you guys to learn the foundation first before you go directly to the investing um, investing topics para hindi tayo we will not be emotional pag kaya bumabagsak yung portfolio natin in the stock market mm -hmm. the, our investment is going down ayan ay hindi rin masascam that's why we need to build the foundation first and in fact is we um, we have two special guests for today. Yes, they are authors and very highly sought speakers in yeah. this field. So, talaga ito, ito. very experts talaga yeah. sila dito. And I'll, I am very happy to introduce them po to you. Please welcome Ms. Sha Nasino and, and Mr. Mr. Jason, Jason Law. Law. Yeah. Welcome. welcome. Welcome po to Wise Cash. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. O nga pala, para sa mga viewers natin, ha, ito yung mga books na sinulat ng mga authors natin. This one is Money and Me and, by Ms. Shana Sino. Yes, and this one is the latest book of Sir Jason. This is Determined. Wow, mm -hmm. sobrang pasok na pasok for today's topic. Eh. Yeah. We're going to talk about debt. We're going to talk about debt. Marami talaga silang masishare yeah. about the topic. Oh. Right? Ka, so yeah, ma sobrang maka ano ro, eh. sobrang ma malaman yung story ng ating mga guests for today. Eh. Oh, That's why ma we invited them. 
Oh. We want to hear it from them kung paano sila bumangon from that, paano nakatulong emergency fund, on what have they become today. Yeah. Ayan. So, to start it off, you know, ma'am and sir, no, right now po kasi, a lot of our kababayan, especially dito sa Philippines, and even mga OFWs natin, they have death stories. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yan. And, I'm sure po, both of you, because of your inspirations, you have written these books, di ba? Do you have personal death stories po that you can yes. share with our viewers? Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And how did you manage to rise back up? Kanyan, siguro si Ms. Shana yes, lang. Yes, Ms. Shana. Okay, so, hi everyone. My name is Shana Sino. Um, dati, po, dati ako employed for nine years. Mm-hmm. And then, no first year ko as an employee, nabaon ka agad ako sa credit card debts. Okay. What were you buying then? Kung ano-ano, yung mga things na akala ko assets, pero liabilities pala. For okay. example, bibili ako ng high-end sale na 12%, 0%, wow. uh, 12-month, 0% installment, or high So, in just one year, na max out yung credit limit mm-hmm. ng two cards ko. And two cards pa to. Two cards, oo. Gano kalaki ang credit limit, ma'am? Well, at that time, it it was 80,000 pesos. Mm-hmm. So, times two, it's 160. Almost 200,000, that's a sure. For the, two, for the yeah. two cards na yun. Uh-huh. Okay. But compared to my income before, which was very mean, I was earning around 15,000 pesos a month. So, oh. imagine yung... For me, 15,000, I was earning 15,000 pesos, and yung debt ko was 80,000 oh, pesos. Oh, oh. Feeling ko ang laki-laki ng utang na yun. Yeah. So, How did you yeah. rise back up po from that? Um, one thing yung ginawa ko, I started to read books. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, um, I was in a desperate situation kasi at that time, gusto ko mag-resign. Uh-huh. Pero hindi ako makapag-resign dahil yun nga. Dami yung babayaran. Oo, oo. So sabi ko, kailan gumawa ako ng bagay na hindi ko pa ginagawa before. Mm-hmm. I have to invest in my education. Like, read books. Yung book ni Robert Kiyosaki na Rich Dad Poor Dad, yung uh-huh. binasa ko. And ang dami niya naitulong sa akin. So, nag-attend din ako ng mga seminars. Mm-hmm. Finally, after three years, na zero out ko yung credit card. Nice! Three years! So, pretty hard, tough, mm-hmm. discipline talaga yung in-apply wow. ko. Mm-hmm. <laughs> discipline and education. Yes. Yes. Yeah. How about si Sir Jason yes. naman? Mr. Determined. Sa akin, uh, galing kasi ako sa family na mga business people. Right. So, ang turo sa amin, when I started, ang business daw, kapag lalakihan yung business, pag yung utang, mal- malaki, yung business mo, lalaki din. Mm-hmm. So, kailangan nagmamatch yan. Right. So, yun yung mindset ko before. And um, I started business at a young age when I was 18 years old. Mm, very young. And then, mm-hmm. I earned my first million at the age of 22 right. through God's mm-hmm. grace. Mm-hmm. At that point, I was uh, operating five different businesses at the same time. Mm-hmm. So, and you were very young that naman. time. Oh, mm-hmm. So, I uh, was a uh, small-scale business. Mm-hmm. It's a medium-scale. Mm-hmm. And I thought I knew the definition of uh, success was grossly mistaken because at the age of 30, doon na wala lahat. Mm-hmm. What happened? Do you <coughs> mind po sharing yeah, what happened? Yeah, uh, share ko na rin yung amount, no? Para oh, sure. Na, para yes, yes. Better. Mm-hmm. Um, I, we lost almost 10 million in our business. Ah. Ang 10 million kasi it's subjective, eh. Sa ibang tao, katulad ko, syempre, malaki yan. Sa yeah. ibang, yeah. maliit lang yun. Tapos, uh, we incurred an additional 2.5 million debt. Mm-hmm. And then I had that talk. I'm also a speaker now. Right, right. And this is one of my topics of personal finance. Mm-hmm. And I, my topic was my debt story. Mm-hmm. So I spoke to, siguro mga 300 yun mm-hmm. nandun. Tapos, mm-hmm. I raised my last credit card. We had eight naman. Wow. Eight <laughs> credit, credit cards. cards. <coughs> Kasi pinaikot namin sa, ano, sa negosyo. Yun mm-hmm. din yung danger ng good debt eh. Mm-hmm. Kasi a lot of bad debt came from good debt. Mm-hmm. Our experience. So, mm-hmm. compare pair of scissors. And I told everyone, this is what you call plastic surgery. Good <laughs> 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 Ito nga nga lang sa akin. Sabi ko, wala ko kung feeling nyo. I'm fan of Braveheart. Ano to? Freedom. Freedom! Tapos lahat sila nakisigaw. Ngayon pala lahat may utang din. Yeah, wow. no. Sir, nabang kanina, no? There are good debt and bad debt. Yeah, oh, yeah. Pero how did good debt and bad debt play out in your life po? And what, uh, yung definition na po siguro ng good debt and bad debt for our viewers who don't know yet. Yeah. Okay. Yung definition ko ng good debt would be, ito yung inuutang mo pero may potential return on your mm-hmm. utang. 
yung bad debt, ito yung inuutang mo for consumables. After mo siya nautang, wala na, wala nang balik sa pera. For example, bad debt could be yung high-end laptop dahil pang forma lang. Mm-hmm. Pero it could be a good debt kung gagamitin mo siya pang sulat ng libro or oh. sa mga presentations mo. Okay. Yan, simple yung laptop that could parang nasa-serve naman niya yung purpose niya. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then again, si good debt kasi it's kahit sinasabi natin with potential mm-hmm. returns, it's still, kumbaga, uncertain. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right. So, um, how does one say kaya na, oh, uh, you know, this is good debt because the car I use it for my business. Yeah. Some Ang people good debt kasi may... kailangan na may good record na yung business. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So, it's not good debt just because you're going to use it for something. Yeah. Uh, no. that, Tatlo okay. kasi yung ano eh. Kunyari, magbibusiness tayo, di ba? Right. First is, uh, you look for partners mm-hmm. pag wala tayong pera. Pero, ano yan? Pros and cons lit. Kasi pag mm-hmm. naghanap ka ng partners, kailangan medyo ano ka... Um, discipline. Mm-hmm. So, may check and balance. Yung isa naman, ma- mm-hmm. mag-ano ka, mag-start on your own mm-hmm. through um, surplus. So, iniipon mo na lang yung pera. Yung isa naman, you borrow money, mm-hmm. which is the last resort. And you only borrow money if you have a tr- good track record already dun mm-hmm. sa negosyo mo. Of course, the lenders naman will check yeah. then. Yeah. Marami na hindi nag-check. Oh. Kaya may mga 5-6, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, yun yung, ano, yun yung mahirap. Mm-hmm. And in our case, we used our ano naman, um, credit card so, wala oh. yun. Kaya, just imagine Nakundamit. how much the interest was. Yeah, yeah. Kasi inisip namin, we will get back our, ano eh, our money mm-hmm. through the business. Yeah. Pag kumita na yan, bayaran yung utang. Pero, hindi ganun yung nangyari. Okay. Yeah, so, just yeah. to summarize, sir. Sa'yo, ang nangyari is, the cards itself, nung una, intention is for you to have that cards to be a form of good debt. Kasi gusto for business eh, mm-hmm. paikutin. But if it work against you, it became a bad debt. Yeah, in a way, kasi na okay. pinitan kami gamitin siya. Kasi okay. wala na kaming pambayad sa mga suppliers. Mm-hmm. So, nahiya na ako. Ginamit ko na yung card para mabayaran para muna mabayaran sila. Para mabayaran lang And sila. And then, yung utang. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow. Pero right now po, kaya based on your experience, no, a lot of our viewers are average Joes. Mm-hmm. What is a good debt management yeah. plan for an average Joe? Mm. Okay. I think, dapat utangin mo lang yung kaya mong bayaran. Mm-hmm. Yung credit card, ang laki kasi niyang temptation. Mm-hmm. For example, pupunta ka sa mall, may sale. Mas madaling magbayad ng isang swipe Totoo. ng 3,000 pesos versus maglalabas ka ng cash. So, kung hindi mo kaya kontrolin yung spending habits mo, especially sa credit card, ginawa ko rin yung ginawa mo na kinat yung credit card. So, kinat, ikakat mo yung credit card mo and then pay off mo na siya. Ngayon naman, I think, um, Kung malaki talaga yung utang mo, unang-una is yung isipin mo, bakit mo ba gusto i-zero out yung debts? Uh-huh. Kailangan may matindi kang reason. The more emotional, the better. Kailangan yung pinaghuhugutan mo. Kasi it doesn't make sense na mag-save ka ng pera, babawasan mo yung credit card, whatever bad debts, mm-hmm. kung hindi mo alam yung reason, bakit mo siya ginagawa. Mm. So, yeah, it's, it's very important. Al- alam mo kung ano yung emotional. What way. was your compelling reason back then? Okay, back then, there was a time na, I, I clearly remember that time. It was 11 a.m. na sa office uh-huh. ako, one year ako nag-work. I looked at my wallet, 50 pesos lang yung pera. Okay. So, it was lunchtime, gutom na gutom ako, but I had no money to, to buy me lunch. Of course, mga masaya pa ako pa uwi, di ba? Pesos was not enough. Mm-hmm. Um, at that time, tinawagan ko yung papa ko. Sabi ko, pa, pwedeng manghiram ng 1,000 pesos. Mm-hmm. In reality, hindi naman talaga siya hiram. Mm-hmm. Hingi siya. Hingi na siya. But okay. of course, province and then nag-work ako sa mga so may impression yung mga tao na makati ka marami kang pera ganun mm-hmm. hiya lang ako sa papa ko it's so, one of humbling experiences oh, you had I'm sure yeah. kinain mo yung pride mo so anyway nagpadala yung papa ko via LBC because walang bank na malamit right. sa province I had to walk from Ayala Avenue to Buendia Oh, no, and the stretch of Buendia oh. para hanapin ni LBC. Okay. On a hungry stomach, wow. naka-skirt, okay yung top yeah. mo. I looked rich, but uh, deep inside mm-hmm. I was broke. So mm-hmm. yung, yung physical pain na gutom ka was nothing compared to what I felt inside. Yes. I felt stripped of my dignity. Mm-hmm. And just because I didn't know how to manage my money, <clears throat> I had to go through this. Hiyang-hiya ako sa sarili yes. ko. Oh. And then sabi rin ng papa ko, Siya, at the rate that you're going, you'll go bankrupt in no time. So, mm-hmm. sabi niya, kailangan mong i-manage your finances. Right. Wow. So, as simple as, sabi ko, I want to reach a point wherein, pag gusto kong kumain, may pambili ako. As simple yeah, as that. Yeah. So, that was one of my emotional ways. Mm-hmm. Madami pa, but abutin tayo ng... Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> oh, sobrang ganda nung usapan natin. 
for now, no? But we want also uh, our viewers to participate in today's episode. That's why we have, I think we have six questions. Actually, oh, nga. Yes. Yan. Sila rin yung winner, book winners for today's episode. And kasi Yes. We're both our authors pala. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. these are the questions. Sir and Let's show the questions. Po, sure. Later to end. Yes. This one is from Ar no, si Arwin. Ben, I know this one is from South Korea. From yes. South Korea team. Hi Arwin. Hi Arwin. Okay, can I use some of my emergency funds daw on mutual funds or stock market uh, investment para mas mabilis daw lumago? Kung hindi, ano yung ibang options? Ayan. Oh, uh, sir. Yes. Emergency funds kasi hindi ang ginagamit sa investment. Eh. Okay. So you need to rin siya yung mabilis basa-basa lang makuha. Mm -hmm. Okay. So a good uh, place to put it is okay. sa anytime pwede mo ma-withdraw. Pero hindi yan, okay. yan investment. Dadating yeah. ka rin dyan pag nabuo mo na yung ano mo, emergency fund. Yeah. Okay. We'll go to emergency funds again in a bit. Ano? Yes, Pero yes. itong second question ni Arwin. Is housing loan considered as bad debt kung family lang po ang gumagamit? Yes. Um, I think it depends. So you make your computation. Better off ka ba na mag-rent ka na lang? Or better off ka to, to buy a house on mm -hmm. loan? Um, kung bibili ka naman ng bahay na simple lang, kasha yung family sa bahay, and then na-compute mo na better off ka talaga for parang... Gagawa ka kasi ng pros and cons. Eh. Na-compute mo na better off ka because at the end of 20 years, sa'yo na yung bahay. Mm -hmm. I think it could be a good debt. Bad debt siya. Pag yung bahay, I feel masyadong malaki for the family. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah. for example, um, let's say six, five bedrooms, eh, ang kailangan nyo lang two bedrooms. So, sa'yo naman yung three bedrooms. So, it yes. could be depends wasted kung, space. Uh, yeah. Naku, it usong, could be a bad debt. Could be a good debt. Most of our OFWs, yeah. Um, una, first impression nila, pagkausapan na investment, bahay. Mag-invest sa bahay. Kotse! Kotse, oh. yan yung mga, ano eh, yan yung mga laging nagigiging. They don't mm. know when they're going to retire. Yes. Just this morning, someone Facebooked me yeah. from Kuwait. So yan ang question niya sa akin. Oh. Okay. Yeah, ulit pong malik ng Kuwait. So, mm. so, so oh. one, nila, she would need uh, 10 more years. Naku po. Mm. Sabi ko sa kanya, ano mas importante? Yung yeah. family mo. Yung mm. yeah. gagawa ka ng competition. Asha sa 30. Lucky for your income. Mm. Okay. Tama, so, tama. Let's talk about yeah. the emergency fund part lang po, no, right now. Emergency funds, kasi nilagay natin yan dun sa ladder of investing natin as one of the last. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. yes. But, kanina while we were talking, si Sir Jason po mentioned that dapat sabay yan. Sabay dapat, you pay yes. off your debts and you stabilize your emergency, emergency funds. Fund. No? Yeah. Uh -huh. Do you have po a story na... Oh, kasi oh. kami, no, yung nawalan kami ng negosyo, um, tapos bankrupt kami. Right. Yun yung time na tama, no? Sabi mm -hmm. ni siya, you really have to eat your pride. Yeah. Kasi mm -hmm. yung pride, nilulunok yan eh. Parang yeah. fried chicken lang yan. <laughs> fried <laughs> chicken. Iniiwan sa washing fried machine. <laughs> so, nangyari sa amin, um, yung mga nganak na yung wife ko, mm -hmm. she was about to give birth in three weeks. Mm -hmm. Mga five years kami bago nagka-baby. So, ang hirap, wala talaga kami pera. Right. So, ang unang ginawa namin para makabayad kami, nagbenta kami ng mga gamit. Mm -mm. So, in corporate terms, that's called liquidation. So, oh, talagang yeah. liquidate lahat. Mm -hmm. And what happened was, naka-raise up ako. Raise ako ng, ano, ng almost three times the amount. Great. What we need, just by mm -hmm. selling stuff. Mm -hmm. And, ante, emotions. Say, we have to be emotional. Mm -hmm. um, I use that acronym in my book, yung MAD. Mm -hmm. So, yung M is makes this makes that as in attack. Mm -hmm. And then, eighty four, no? Mm -hmm. Na paghalatan. <laughs> <laughs> one wax on, wax off. Yes. So, <laughs> day in, day out. Na importante. So, mm -hmm. kung yung dalawa, pagsasabay, importante, ano, check natin yung priorities natin. Mm -hmm. Kasi yung magiging problem, pag binayaran mo muna lahat yung utang mo, tapos hindi ka pa nakabuo kagad ng emergency, 
Kasi nagkaroon ka ulit ng emergency, utang ka na naman. Yes. Yes. So, ang advice ko, kailangan sabay. Mm-hmm. na pwede niya pang uh, i-delay but okay. they have people kasi yes. you have to be transparent yes. to them Naku, sobrang, sobrang sobrang init nung mga dapat ng mga... talaga very yes. compelling yung reason yes. and proactive ka in... let's also show is yung other questions other natin questions. Have, yeah. Uh, more... yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah this one is si Miss Cha Manuel Abelia ito kanina nung nabasa ko yung ano niya case niya sobrang kailangan matanong to. Sabi niya, yung husband daw niya uh, na OFWs. So, nagtatrabaho sila sa ibang bansa. Kaso, ang tinatanong niya, uh, can we go? Yes. Balik, balik tayo. Balik tayo. Yes. Alright. Yun. So, wala, yung in-laws niya, in the parents, walang insurance, hindi nakapag-prepare for retirement. In short, wala lahat. Kailangan ba na isama sila sa emergency fund nung mag-asawa? <laughs> what do you think, sir Kaarugo and ma'am? ko ba ang aking Opo. parents? Hmm. Kung yung parents niya, um, dependent sa kanila, mm-hmm. tapos wala ng source of parents, um, I think it take nila into consideration yun. Kasi kung wala ng ibang aasahan yung parents, sila na lang. Mm-hmm. Of course, kailangan nilang paghandaan yung situation na yun. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. It's okay. natin sa culture, culture. ng mga mm-hmm. Pinoy. Si, ano, si Randall, our yeah. good friend, mm-hmm. yes. he wrote this in his book, yung Sandwich Generation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, nangyayari sa ating kas- rich and niya, usually marami na yung tatlo o lima yeah, kasi yeah. ang gusto nila, sasuporta nila yung mga kids nila so that when they grow up, they have their inheritance already. Okay, okay. Ang poor naman baligtad. Ang poor, kailangan marami akong anak kasi investment ko yan mga yan. Mm. So okay. kailangan mga sampu-sampu more than five mm. para pag tanda ko, Sina lahat yan magbibigay sa akin. Mm-hmm. Which is a wrong mindset kasi nang- mm-hmm. kung ano yung nangyari sa ano sa taas, bababa rin yan sa baba. So That's in a way, um, it's really a hard no, pero if you will face the brutal facts, responsibility ng magulang na mag-provide sa mga anak. Yes. yes. Pero yung mga anak, hindi responsibility talaga na mag-provide sa magulang. But of course, there are exceptions. Yes. Yeah. Right, yeah. Ibig sabihin, yung mga magulang, kailangan maghanda rin sila. Mm-hmm. Yes. Pero pag dumating yung point, for example, kami yung mom and dad ko nagkaroon ng cancer, so we really have to support them. Kasi mm-hmm. may nangyari na ganung ano, yeah. uh, yeah. tra- Pero pagdating naman sa mga ibang bagay, they really have to prepare. Kasi kung hindi, yun yung one of the sources of yes. poverty in the Philippines. Dapat mm-hmm. turuan din natin, yung mga parents natin, to prepare for emergency fund, yeah. to save. Yeah. It yes. really starts on the mindset po. Yeah. Right, right. Okay, next question. We, we have question. another question from Cagayan de Oro. Ito's all the way from Cagayan de Oro, si Miss Catherine. And question niya, where's the best place daw to keep my emergency fund? I think kakasagot lang ni Sir Jason. Yes. But uh, Miss uh, Sha, ano yung for you? Uh, I agree din sa sinabi niya na um, perhaps lagi mo sa savings or time deposit na hindi mo rin kagad ma-access pero Tama. at the same time liquid siya. Yes. Nice. So, minsan yung mga emergency, pizza nagiging emergency. Ayan, <laughs> so, pag nasa, yan. Mapunan lang yung pera, mm-hmm. mabilis yes. ilabas. Fiesta, biglang emergency yun. Oh. <laughs> Papakain ni Kong Bong Barangay, emergency yun. So, dapat liquid lagi, madaling uh, pagkuhanan ng pera. Yes, we have other questions. Next question, please. Yes, this one is from Leo Jose Luz. Sabi niya, ma'am, okay lang po ba mag-invest ako yung savings ko for emergency funds since nakatira naman ako sa parents ko at wala pa akong pamilya. So, I guess nagtatrabaho na si Leo, pero gusto niyang ipang-invest yung emergency fund niya. What do you mm-hmm. think po? Um, okay. I think since emergency fund siya, kailangan mm-hmm. hindi mo na siya i-invest. <clears throat> Kasi, for example, um, what if nangailangan siya ng pera? Um, what if hindi makapag-provide yung parents niya ng pera for for him this kind yes. of emergency <laughs> situation? So, maybe... Um, Hindi masyad, pwede hindi masyadong strict kung how much yung ilalagay niya sa emergency fund niya. Mm-hmm. So let's say kung normally, 3 to 6 months ng expenses mo ilalagay mo, maybe sa kanya pwede yung 3 months lang muna. Yeah. So yung parents, nakatira naman siya sa parents. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's a good, yeah. Savings and time deposit. Yes. Para liquid tayo. Uh-huh. Yes, we have other questions from our, yeah. From Mary friends. Rose Castello. In case po na nabuo ng emergency fund, dapat po magdagan ito yearly dahil na Inflation rate. Medyo technical. Iba na rin po kasi yung amount of expenses natin mm. after 2 to 3 years. Medyo technical to. Technical to, may inflation rate pa. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How, Dapat in an average of 4.9% for the mm-hmm. recently recorded na inflation mm-hmm. rate. Yeah, by this year? Yes, 4. Yeah, yes. 4.9. Um, kailangan natin malaman kasi yung, ano natin, yung risk tolerance and yung ano rin natin, yung point of um, security mm-hmm. in a sense na hanggang how much ba. 
Kasi kung hindi, kung masyadong malaki, kakainin na nga ng inflation. Yeah, inflation. Mm-hmm. So, ang mga financial, ano, um, financial uh, planners would say that you would need at least six months. Malaki na yung one year. Okay. Mm-hmm. Pero ito din yung suggestion ko sa mga ano natin, uh, viewers, mga million-million viewers. Yes. yes! Na bago kayo mag-invest ng kahit ano, punuin nyo muna emergency fund. Pag napuno niya na emergency fund, doon na kayo mag-start mag-invest. Mm-hmm. Tapos pag nag-invest kayo, yun na yung time na kahit mawala na yung pera. Yun kasi hindi na intindihan ng tao eh. That's Ang investment, know. pag nawala yan, hindi kayo iiyak. Mm-hmm. Ay, yung iba sa atin, nilagay mo yung savings mo dyan, buong life savings, nag-invest ka nawala, umiiyak ka ngayon. Mm-hmm. Kasi you didn't follow the... Investing ladder. Right, yes. mm-hmm. right the ladder. Medyo kinilig ako sa sinabi ni Sir eh. Million-million view- viewers daw. <laughs> <laughs> That is so true. No, prophetic yun, prophetic. Do we have another question yes. pa? Yeah. Ito na, from Russell Millar Ferrareza. Sir, ma'am, maaari din po bang magkaroon ng emergency fund ang estudyante na katulad ko? Ano po bang pwedeng gawin? Nakakatawa si Russell, no? Yeah. Estudyante pa siya, pero iniisip na niya yung ganyan. I think depende sa mga responsibilities niya sa student. Um, kung let's say... Parang na-share mo rin kanina, no? Kung halimbawa siya mismo yung nagbabayad ng emergency fund din siya. Um, but again, gaya ng sinabi ko kanina, parents pa niya yung nagpo-provide ng, ng kanyang expenses, ganun. Um, pwede hindi masyadong strict kung how much yung emergency fund na yeah. ilalaan niya. Mm-hmm. I remember myself no student ako emergency hmm. fund ko 5,000 pesos. Wow. wow. Ako nga wala akong emergency fund. <laughs> student ako eh. Lahat ako labas. Uh-huh. Even na nagtatapos. Parang nakarelate ako ng sobra sa story ni Misha eh. Mm-hmm. Go- Parehong-pareho. Kailangan talaga Ay, very compelling. Difference lang, hindi ako naka, ano, no. <laughs> hindi ka naka-skirt <laughs> nun. Ayan. Ako, I, ako, Floy, for this episode, I learned a lot. And sabi ko nga din, well, I've never been in debt. And hopefully not. Yeah. And hopefully not. And, Mm, si, si Sir Jason na lang po. Mm-mm. Well, um, it's important for us to really learn about financial literacy and passing it on to others. And I believe that the reason why God wants to bless us is so that we can be a blessing to others as well. Kaya importante yung ating perspective that we don't uh, hoard money. But our intention is to earn money, make money, and then eventually to help others also with that money. So it's really Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sobrang ganda ng sinabi. Okay, so I agree doon sa sinabi ni Jason. <laughs> And just to add, um, it's very important alam natin kung ano yung dreams natin. Why do, you, why do you save money? Why do you invest? It's very important. Alam mo yung reason why you're doing things. Because yun talaga yung mag-inspire okay. sa'yo. Because in the journey to financial freedom or time freedom, ang daming obstacles yan. Mm-hmm. So kung hindi malalim yung hugot mo, ang bilis mo masway. Ang daming sale, okay. ganyan. Ang right. bilis mo masway. And uh, to keep learning, to keep um, investing in your greatest asset, which is yourself. yourself. Yes. So invest in your education. Um, yun, read books, attend seminars. Read books? Nako, marami tayong Read books, books like <laughs> Money and Me money and, and me. Betterment. Yes. Yeah. 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 Watch Wise Cash. Yeah. Nice. Yes. Okay. Yes. Sige po, yes. before we say goodbye, we all our guests po, kasi we teach them the Wise Cash sign. And then mm-hmm. sabay-sabay po kami nag Wise Cash pa, pag nagpapaalam tayo sa audience natin. Okay. okay, so the Wise Cash sign goes like this. Yes. Wise? Wise. Cash. cash. All right. Okay. Sige. Thank you very much for watching another episode of Wise Cash. Thank you. The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. View discretion is advised. Richmond? Yes? Stay on the line lang. I will start in a few minutes. All right, all right. No worry. What's sorry, Mo? Is Bianca here? Uh, she's gonna... She's gonna be here, but she's gonna be late. She's leaving. Uh, give me two minutes and we can start. Yeah. We'll just start without her.